my bed was first conceived and made in 1998 and it wasn't intentional, it's first beginnings. I spent four days in the bed and when I got out of the bed, I looked at it and thought it was disgusting. And then I realized that this bed had probably saved my life and kept me safe. And then at that moment, I just saw it in a white space and I realized that it was art. But now the bed has become like a ghost of my past and all the things on it don't relate to me anymore. They relate to a much, much younger woman. One of the weirdest things is the belt, because the belt used to fit around my waist, now the belt fits around my thigh. And there's lots of contraception things. I don't have sex, so I don't use any kind of contraception. There's alcohol, and I don't, I'm, actually I never really drank spirits, they weren't my spirits. There's, you know, cigarettes, I don't smoke anymore. What really stands out is this whole kind of atmosphere of something long gone. Each time I install the bed, it's different. And this time in Margate, it looks much more raunchy than normal, I've got to say. And I was joking, I was saying, maybe that's because it's Margate, it must be. But it definitely looks more, there's more stress and there's more tension in it this time. I wanted the turners to be like evocative, sensual. I wanted like big crashing waves. I wanted them to be sort of kind of spunky and kind of sexy and have this kind of fecundity that actually went well with the bed. And I'm amazed this installation of the bed has a different feeling for me because I was actually looking at this turner the whole time. And I think it is like a three dimensional version of this painting. We always see Turner on these dark green walls and these dark red walls. And to see Turner hung in this very contemporary, minimal way gives Turner a new lease of life. And the same, it actually gives my bed a different kind of energy as well. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the Turners, with the bed. I think it's great that the Turner Prize has been, you know, it's gone out to different regions and so it's taken it different areas of Britain. But I think when it comes to Margate and it is the Turner Prize, I think it's going to be really, really exciting. And I think it's going to add a new lease of life to Margate and Turner Contemporary. And I will be set up in Margate by then. A lot of artists move into Margate because it feels creative, because it's just, you know, being reborn again, like a phoenix rising. You can create your own pastimes, you can decide what you want to do and it's an exciting place to be at the moment. It feels like it's up and running, it's just started happening. Mm -hmm.